Hello, my name's Tim Shoebridge. You know, I absolutely love this job because once in a while I come across a piece of hardware, a piece of gear like this one that puts a huge smile on my face. This is a Eurorack module. It's by Vermona. Vermona are a, a small German boutique synth manufacturer. Uh, this particular module here is called Melodicer. Um, I came across it almost by accident. I, I bought this secondhand off of eBay. Um, and it is now indispensable to me, absolutely indispensable. It's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant module. I know a lot of you out there are a little bit skeptical about Eurorack and whether you should take the plunge. Uh, you know, after all, you know, hardware synths and keyboards can do so much for us these days. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, this module might be the one that pushes you over the edge. Um, so what is Melodicer? Well, it's a sequencer, but it's it's like no traditional sequencer I've ever come across. Uh, with a traditional sequencer, you set uh, note values on every step, you set note lengths, uh, you set ties and rests and that kind of thing. It's a very much a manual process. Uh, with this, you don't do any of that. You basically tell Melodicer what kind of sequence you want and it will generate one for you. And if you don't like that sequence, you just tell it to generate another one. Uh, and the way you tell it what kind of sequence you want is with these controls on the front here, obviously. Uh, we've got some sliders here, which are probability sliders. Uh, put it that way. Down at the bottom here, a note value will never play. At the top, it's 100% probable that it will play at some point in the sequence, and you've got everywhere in between. So you've got these sliders for every semitone in an octave, going from C all the way up to B. And then in terms of the rhythmic side of things, uh, the length of the notes, uh, the whether there are rests at all in the sequence, you've got these probability controls at the top here where you can suggest to Melodicer, I'd like some rests in, in, my, in my sequence. Sprinkle them through there somehow, please. Uh, I'd like some longer notes. I'd like some shorter notes. Uh, this is how much I really would like some longer notes or shorter notes. Now please generate a sequence for me. You're kind of telling it what you'd like, but at the end of the day, there's some real clever intelligence inside this uh, stochastic algorithm. It's kind of like a random but intelligent random. It generates patterns for you behind the scenes, um, and they are really, really musical. You can either have it generating a constantly changing, evolving sequence, or you can capture a sequence and repeat it over and over again um, as, as, a, as a pattern. And you can save those patterns as presets. You can recall them whenever you like. It's got so much power and so much potential. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, all the ins and outs of this module and, and give you like a a demonstration of exactly how you use it. I'll, I'll try and find a video online that does that kind of thing and leave a link to it in the description below. What I'm going to do really is just sort of like showcase it a little bit, just play a little bit of music that I put together. It just took me a couple of hours to put this music together um, that's going to be using Melodizer. Now this piece of music, music is going to have just three separate sequences that, that Melodice had generated for me. Uh, and they only had three notes in, the same three notes throughout the whole, <laughs> the whole sequence. Uh, that's all you're going to hear, uh, three separate sequences put together with Melodice. Uh, you're also going to hear some pad sounds, uh, which I have used my Hydrosynth, as you can see behind me here, I've got a Hydrosynth. Um, the pad sounds are from the Hydrosynth. I'm also going to be including just a little bit of vocals as well uh, from a wonderful piece of software called EM Voice. Uh, thanks very much to those of you who recommended that I take a look at EM Voice. I did a little while ago a video about uh, how to add vocals to your track if you can't sing. Um, and I got loads and loads and loads of suggestions, uh, so many suggestions on things to try. EM Voice was just one of those suggestions, and I absolutely love this piece of software. So you'll hear a little bit of vocals from EM Voice in this track that I'm playing to you. But at the end of the day, it's all about this Melodizer. It's a fantastic creative tool. Uh, I really do strongly recommend taking a look at it. It might just be uh, something that puts a smile on your face too.
floor. It's time to get creative. My mind is overflowing. I try to keep it going. I just don't know where I should start. Don't know how I should start